Hello there and welcome back to our course. In this uh, video uh, course lecture I'm going to show you how to perform uh, image segmentation in QGIS with the open source software QGIS and install for Orfea toolbox. So in order to do be, to be able to follow my instructions and to, to do this uh, practical with me, you have to uh, complete a QGIS installation as was uh, explained to you in the document provided in the section one of this course. And you also have to do uh, Orfea toolbox installation that was also explained in the section four of this course and also the there was a downloadable uh, practical guidance how to do this. Once you are done, of course, uh, what we need as well is uh, the data that we are going to use for uh, segmentation. And uh, as uh, the case with the previous uh, practicals with uh, random forest uh, decision tree classification, we are going to use the same Sentinel-2 image. So please uh, use the download downloadable uh, resources which were provided in, um, um, in a lecture 13 of the section four of this course. So once you have um, everything ready, uh, here is, you can see my uh, QGIS uh, project opened and I have already added uh, a Bonn uh, Sentinel-2 image for the, for the city of Bonn in Germany. So uh, please add it as well. Uh, here you can see other layers, which I don't need. Uh, so I, c I can actually uh, remove this. This is uh, layers from uh, our previous um, exercise on uh, on classification let me just for to remove a layer you have to right click and uh, select um, the option to remove layer from your project so basically you don't delete it you're just removing it from this project and then you can also save uh, the project as it will open the navigation folder I will go to OTB classification folder. Remember, we have to uh, keep our uh, files uh, well organized and I will call this project segmentation. I will save it and uh, then I'm going to go to uh, processing and we'll uh, click on toolbox. Here I, I see the panel of processing toolbox and I will find OTB. So basically this is where our segmentation algorithm is implemented. And here I need uh, a sub uh, directory which is called segmentation. And in this segmentation uh, sub directory there is different options, but we are going to choose segmentation. When you double click on it, uh, the dialog window will appear where you basically have to show different, uh, to fill the different fields. Uh, the first field which we have to, uh, to fill is the image. So automatically our image will pop up here. Then uh, you have uh, an, the, se the, the second field is segmentation algorithm. Here you, there are different algorithms and I encourage you to uh, experiment with this. Uh, but in sake of this uh, demonstration, I will uh, use a default, which is a mean shift algorithm. So there, you see there is also different, um, um, different basically uh, um, parameters that you can um, specify by yourself. This is an important part because based on these parameters, your segmentation results will be different. In this, in this case of this tutorial, I'm going to uh, use the default parameters, but uh, for you and for your real tasks, I encourage to, to customize those parameters, to play with them, um, to, in order to be able to detect objects as you would uh, like them to be. Well, all the rest of, um, of the parameters, I would uh, keep uh, the default. And uh, here we have two outputs which we can uh, save. I will, um, um, the main output is output vector file, which will be the file with our segmentation. So I would save it uh, to file. So save to temporarily file 
could be uh, an option that does not work. So if you choose it and run it, it could be a bug and you will not receive your result. Uh, so, but you can try it, it depends, yeah? But uh, in my case, I don't have any problem. I will um, just save it to the file. I will call it segments sentinel2. Um, well, I have it already. Um, the same name, so I will uh, add bone. I will click save. Well, it says that the file name is not valid because I need to provide the uh, the extension. Since it is a vector file, I know that extension will be SHP. So this is a common exp ex extension for vector file uh, files used for in QGIS and ArcGIS, for example. And I could I, I click save and uh, all others um, basically outputs um, I will uh, parameters I will f I will uh, keep as it is and I click run the segmentation uh, finished algorithm segmentation finished I click closed and um, I can now load my layer for this I go to layers add layer add uh, well, not I don't need raster layer. Sorry, I need to choose add vector layer option. And here I have to uh, navigate to my uh, folder. This is UTB classification. And here is our segments as uh, two bone shape file. I click open, add and close. Here you go. This is our segmented um, segmented uh, image um, which is a ve vector file in the form of vector file I double click on it and uh, the dialog window emerge where I can uh, change the um, the representation of my uh, of my um, vector file so you see now it's filled I need something which will be uh, um, not filled let's use for example this representation and here we have also uh, different options i guess so line line is solid line but uh, let's uh, choose a little bit yeah let's let's choose a little bit thinner line so you can play with this uh, different uh, um, basically different uh, visualization uh, parameters in QGIS as well. I encourage you. And basically when uh, I uh, switch on our uh, image layer, this is how our segmentation layer look like. And uh, um, when we superimpose both layers, then we can see how the segmentations were performing. For example, here we have a um, basically a forest or maybe park and you can see that the boundaries were quite nicely um, quite nicely delineated we can also use a, a, a select tool to see the borders yeah so when we when we click on this uh, uh, specific Polygons, we then can see their uh, their um, boundaries of these polygons, and this become clear that um, we can still play with the parameters values to adjust this. Yes. Yeah? So, for example, uh, here the road um, is could be really delineated better. Yes. Yeah? So, for example, this is uh, an object here which consists of um, of part of the road has also included, I think it's a part of the park or, or maybe forest. So which means that uh, this kind of segmentation parameters that I showed to you could be further adjusted to make the, the objects more meaningful. Nevertheless, this is uh, uh, quite a straightforward procedure and you can see in uh, QGIS, which is a freeware, uh, how easy we can, uh, with several clicks, 
create a segmentation layer that uh, usually could be used then in object-based image analysis so to create object-based image classification yeah this is already a second step so um, this basically uh, um, offers quite a nice opportunity and alternative to such expensive softwares as uh, eCognition or ArcGIS or Envy, where the segmentation tools are implemented, but of course not free of charge. So um, that's it, guys. I encourage you to um, to to train uh, your segmentation and to go a little bit uh, beyond what I have shown to you to to try out different segmentation algorithms, to read about those segmentation algorithms, how they work, to try different uh, parameter settings to optimize your segmentation.